The increasing spy of political instability and security challenges in the ECOWAS region has often necessitated the deployment of ECOWAS peace support operations mandated by the ECOWAS Authority of Heads of State and Government. The ECOWAS staff officer's training is aimed at preparing personnel set for deployment in the ECOWAS peace support operations with knowledge of broader frameworks they would be working on. These 40 participants comprise headquarters staff officers and contingent commanders in the ECOWAS mission in the Gambia and personnel of the Gambia Armed Forces and Police Force. The political advisor to the representative of the president of ECOWAS to the Gambia said the ECOWAS staff officer's handbook was developed by the ECOWAS Peace Support Operations Division in collaboration with the Kofi Annan International Peacekeeping Training Center and funding support through the ECOWAS Peace and Security Architecture and Operations Project. The handbook, he adds, will serve as the training tool for ECOWAS staff officers. Yeah, this training is very significant in the sense that it's, a, it's, it's an in-mission uh, pilot training wherein a handbook uh, has been produced and is going to be discussed with uh, staff officers of uh, the ECOWAS staff rifles, especially those who have been deployed already and those who will be deployed later in other missions. The handbook is very, very significant. And like you said, it covers, you know, key areas, you know, in equipping uh, the staff officers in what they are doing in terms of uh, their standard operating procedures. You know, it has been harmonized, you know, with uh, headquarters and also uh, for us who are here uh, on ground, you know, where the missions are. The director of training at the Kofi Annan International Peacekeeping Training Center said the pilot training course will enhance the knowledge and skills of participants, enabling them to undertake complex operations. This training is significant in the, is significant in the sense that every staff officer would require the requisite knowledge as a staff officer to support command. Without that requisite knowledge, you cannot effectively support command. And that is why we're taking up this training to ensure that our staff officers have the knowledge they, they require to be able to perform their duties perfectly and effectively. That is the essence why we are, we, are, we, are, we are running this course. It is not only going to be in the Gambia, we are taking it to the Guinea-Bissau next week where we will run the same course. The handbook seeks to standardize operations, minimize risk, enhance efficiency and ensure compliance with procedures. Lieutenant Colonel Kwasi Pebra, a participant, also shared his expectations. I expect that we improve on our knowledge so far as the conduct of ECOWAS and ECOMIC missions are concerned so that we can be more effective and uh, efficient in the conduct of our duties. A crucial step to boost understanding of operational procedures, the training is a critical requirement to ensuring operating procedures of the ECOWAS headquarters are organized, standardized and documented to simplify information flow and access for staff officers. This engagement also helps in assessing the relevance of various modules of the ECWA Staff Officers Handbook to current and emerging needs in contemporary peace support operations. Reporting for GRTS News, I am Omar Pijalo.